Burberry handbags. I don't think I've ever explored this brand before. Want to come shopping with me at Burberry? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm checking out the brand Burberry. Now this is a well-known fashion house specifically for I think more of the pattern that is related to the checkered uh, but I've never really looked at the handbags before so I'm gonna go shopping there today and take you along with me and as always if you like the content on this channel please consider like subscribe and commenting it'll really help a lot with the channel so on with some browsing and shopping so checking out some of the Burberry bags, the first one I'm looking at is the Mini Zip Leather Olympia bag. Now I've always kind of been into this half moon shape of a bag lately, so I don't know if it's like a trend for 2022, but it's definitely drawing my attention. This quilted one is oh so cute. I like the pattern, it makes it look a little bit more interesting. Unfortunately. I can't seem to find the price on the website anymore. I think it's still available on Farfetch, but definitely sold out in a lot of places. They still have the regular one available for $2,250 without the quilting, but I do find the quilting makes it so much more interesting. The chain is so luxurious and thick, and you can see that there's many colors that it does come in besides the quilted one, the black ones I showed you. There's also this beautiful purple lilac one that I think would be so cute with the silver chain which is like just the right hardware to match up that color. Next is from the TB collection, a small leather TB bag. You can see that's the way you open the clasp and how you open the bag. I am a little bit worried about how it will scratch easily given the type of leather it's made of. It's currently priced at $3,590. Just a little bit plain for me. I think if people don't know about luxury bags, they would think it's a Tory Burch bag, which um, I feel like Burberry is a different class of its own but with that said i do find that some of the Tory birch brands are um, coming up some really nice on-trend designs whereas Tory birch has caught my eye a lot more um burberry hasn't and that's why i'm here at the store uh, burberry does have a good variety of bags but i've always known it for is this accessories like the scarves and the jackets it's classic patterns i've never thought of getting a bag from there before i don't know if they really have a signature bag but they do have a couple of signature lines like this pocket bag that i think is really cute it's a combination of canvas and leather it's currently priced around one thousand I think $750, which I think is so interesting and very different, but kind of looks like a Burberry ad to me. This vintage check note crossbody bag, I kind of like as well because it does have a little bit of that checkered that Burberry is known for. So I like how they included that. Here is the price for that crossbody, but here I want to show you a closer look at the bag, how you open the class. You can see there's actually a magnetic closure and you can open it up like so. And there's two magnets, one on each side. And there's a really thick Burberry title strap on the inside that comes with. Yes, it's, it does feel very luxurious. Comes in this black version as well. Definitely leaning towards, if I were to buy a Burberry bag, probably want to get this signature checked uh, pattern in the bag. Here is the vintage check two handle title bag, which I, like I mentioned, I love the check pattern. So I will probably be more drawn to something similar to this, like the title bag as a top handle and also have a crossbody strap, which I like how there's variety. And here is the lambskin Lola bag. Reminds me a little bit of trying to go for like a quilted pattern, which Chanel is known for, but they're trying to use like a checkered quilted pattern for what they're known for, which I find it's a little bit much for me. It's just too much quilting. It's not on the top of my list, but it does come in various colors and sizes, which means that it's probably a really popular line for Burberry because after all I don't imagine a fashion house would bother making so many colors of the same bag if it wasn't popular. I just want to show you different colors that it comes with, the different hardware. 
and heading over to the case to see what else they have available. Some really beautiful still the check the Lola um, collection is a really popular Burberry according to the sales associate. Here is the mini leather chained TB bag from TB collection. I love the splash of yellow on the inside of the bag. It's such a nice pop and make it so interesting. And then it also has a luxurious chain and also a um, cr card credit card slot on the inside as well. That's a nice touch. That's a pretty bag. Here is some camera bags. The mini Lola camera bags. $1,590 Canadian. Again, a bit too much quilting for me, but I feel like if I was to get a camera bag, I probably would go with another brand. I just don't feel like... Um, this brand necessarily screams out to me that it's like the one camera bag that really stands out but these checker patterns really does it for me I love how they include the leather on the chain strap to make it more comfortable and then there are some other bags from TB collection what do you think about the Burberry brand so far from the collection I've shown you is there any bag that you're drawn to or like anyone that you've noticed I'm um, in like catching your eye or if you have one yourself is there one that um, you would recommend if you were start starting a Burberry handbag collection I would love to know here is the small knitted check Lola camera bag again I love the check patterns I'm drawn to have a look at some of these this camera bag I think will be more down my alley given that it has the check pattern that Burberry is known for and it's interesting how the chain comes off on the side and this is how it looks like on the model itself there's the leather TB shoulder bag I think this is a pretty oh not that one the one right here on the side this one I feel like it's a pretty standard bag a uh, very clean lines, very boxy and structured definitely won't go out of shape over the years the strap looks like it is I think it is adjustable and you just kind of slip the strap in or so the sales associate is trying to show me but like there might be limited capacity given it's such a structured bag and I'm worried about how it scratches but it does have a card start slot on the inside and looks pretty classy I would say um, I think this might be a bag that might age well but looking back, I'm I'm really into belt bags. I'm checking out some of the bum bags and anything with kind of the check pattern from Burberry. Here's some backpacks as well. The bum bags currently are priced at $1,150 Canadian. And I wonder how is the medium size how it will look on my body because I'm a little bit on the smaller side. And I don't want things to stick out and look too bulgy on me. So yeah, I I think I'm liking how there's different patterns and um, different styles. There are some that are like reminiscent of other fashion houses, but then generally they have the TB line that you see here. They have the Lola line and like I think they're trying to remake itself as a brand for Burberry for people to consider buying handbags from. But at the moment, I would say I'm still drawn more to their accessory their scarves and their clothing than i am to the bags i mean the bags are interesting i love how they're trying out new things um but i still can't think of like a particular signature bag so far that really calls out to me that this is the bag you go to to get the burberry to get from burberry maybe something checked maybe the title bag that i've mentioned before i don't know what do you guys think of this shopping experience at burberry were you pleasantly surprised or maybe you were dis disappointed by the variety that you saw um i would love to know and as always if you like the content on this channel please consider like subscribing and commenting it really helped a lot with that said, thank you so much for joining me on my shirt shopping journey at Burberry. And I will see you next time on another mommy review. Take care and stay safe everyone. Bye for now.